hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in this one i wanted to do like um, a spring flower set but i really wanted to use some jelly colors to do the flowers with so i did a swatch video when the x gel jellies came out from born pretty but i didn't do um like sort of a nail set with them and i wasn't really sure what to do and then i just had a bit of a play and i realized that i really liked doing the flowers with them you can get some really good effects when you use them so um, I'm using the uh, milky white gel and that is just going to go on sort of as a, as a base coat and then I'm going to move on to the milky jelly so I'm using number five and that is going on the middle finger but all the other fingers have got the milky white on and I'm doing two coats of each but I'm just showing you me putting one coat on and then this is what they look like when they've got two coats on so then on top of that I'm going to go in with the matte top coat because I want to paint onto these nails so I want um, a matte top coat. I find that gives me the best surface to paint on. So that gets cured for 30 seconds. All of the Born Pretty gels get cured for 30 seconds in an LED. And then I'm also using um, Ice Jelly number 5 and the Ice Jelly number 6. Um, I'm also using the Pink Milky Jelly but I will put links to everything that I've used in the description box because I don't think I actually show that pink milky jelly that's on the palette there but I did use that as well so I'm starting off painting on the middle finger and I'm doing like a really big flower on this nail so it's going to take up most of the nail and it's just going to be um, like sort of really big petals and I wanted to use some magnetic gels over the top of the jellies for this bit for this particular flower so I'm starting off with the pink and that is going to be for the first petal and then the one underneath is going to be the milky white that is on the other nails. So I'm starting off with the petal shape and then I'm filling it all in and then I'm curing that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm coming back and I'm doing another coat on top of that and then curing that just so that the colours are opaque enough. Yeah, because when you just use one coat you can't really see it. So if you did like this video, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, why not subscribe? It's free. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. So this is how the nails look with two coats of each of those jelly colours on. And then I'm just going over with this cat eye magnetic gel. This is like a silver one. And I'm just doing each petal separately. I'm just painting it over, only a thin coat. And then I'm bringing the glitter to the surface with my magnet. And then that gets cured for 30 seconds. And then I'm moving on to the next petal and doing exactly the same until they have all been cured. So if you watch my previous videos, you'll have heard me talking about my new practice hand. And obviously you can see I'm still using my red iguana hand. And that is because I'm still waiting for my practice hand to come. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of an issue, um, <laughs> to say the least. So yeah, I'm just waiting for it. It takes so long to arrive. Um, and there was a mix up with my order and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so I will get it eventually, but it'll be so worth it when I actually get it in the end. So I am going to do a bit more to that middle nail but I'm not doing it just yet, I'm moving on to the next nails because I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to finish them. 
Um, so I'm moving on to the pointer finger and I've just put with my dotting tool a blue um, dot in the middle for the middle of the flower and then I'm putting dots with the milky pink and they are going, I'm doing four of those and then in between those I'm doing four of the ice jelly pink so that's the um, the more vibrant pink and then when I've done that I'm just using the detailer brush just to form those dots into petals and then I'm using Born Pretty's I think it's called metal painting gel and I'm just painting on a stalk for this flower with that and it's an absolutely beautiful gel it's really gorgeous and that doesn't um, cure with a tacky layer either so you can do it right at the end and you don't need to top coat it so I've done that stalk and then I'm moving on to the middle nail and I'm just outlining all of those petals with the silver painting gel and I found that this just finished it off really well and I was really happy with the way it looked in the end. Okay, so off camera what I did do was I went over the petals, some of the petals on the small flower with the magnetic gel and used the magnet just like I did with the middle finger. But because the petals are so small, you wouldn't have really been able to see me doing anything. So that's why I did it off camera. And then I also did the same flower on the pinky nail and then I did a different kind of flower on the ring finger um, but it was all just the same sort of thing same petals and everything so I didn't do that on camera just so that the video wasn't too long so this is how they look when they're all finished I've not gone over and top coated um, because if you do that with the jelly colours you lose all the definition of the petals and it just looks like um, you can't really see that it's a flower very well so they just looked a lot better like this with the matte background I really love the way that they look and I love that metal painting gel it's beautiful leave me a comment and let me know if you'd wear them and if you like these and if you've got these gels um so yeah I really love these jelly gels they are really easy to use and another plus point is that they are hema free so if you suffer from an allergy to hema then you're going to be able to use these gels so don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and like I said earlier all links to everything that I've used in the video will be in my description box. So that's it for this one so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!